Variables and constants then. This is one topic which variables in particular sometimes throw people off a little bit. So I'm going to go through what well, the definition uh, to start with and then I'm really going to give you some examples of how these are used uh, in code and then hopefully it will start clicking. We'll give you, uh, give you the definition up first though. So right here we go. A variable is a location in memory uh, that contains data which can be changed. That is the absolute 100% dictionary definition of it but let's explain what that actually means. Okay, so here we go with some computer code on the left then. Let's do, oh, I know which one we should do. Uh, so I'm gonna create a variable called uh, best teacher. It's two words, but there is no space in it. That's one thing about variables. You can't have spaces in them. So the second letters um, shown by having a capital letter. So best teacher equals, and so I'm gonna put a string into that. Don't worry about strings for that for now if you're not sure what they are, um, Mr. Halton. Okay, so best teacher equals Mr. Horn. Let's break down actually what is happening in that one line of code because actually it's a fair bit. If you get your uh, get into your head the idea that every variable is like a box somewhere in the computer, okay? So a variable is like a box. I have just created a box. I put a label on it or given that, that box a name, best teacher, and then I have put a value in it. And the value that I've put inside it is Mr. Halton. Okay, that is how you should think of a variable as a box with some data in it. The fact that I've done this here equals, look at that equals, means that I have put data into the box. I put data into um, that variable called best teacher. So Mr. Halton is now in that variable called uh, best teacher. Let's do another one very quickly, and you can probably see how this is going to go in your head now. So my num uh, equals six same thing again if you imagine i've got a box here it's uh, got label minum and it's got the value six in it all right that is a variable now i've got data in my box the question is of course how do i get data out of the box and how do i do something which is useful with it and basically any other time that you use the variable name after you've done this something equals um, any other time you use that variable name, you will be taking data out of that box. Let me give you an example if that's not making sense to you. Uh, print, this word here, print, will print a variable to the screen. So print, let's do best teacher. Okay, so print the best teacher. So what is happening there? Print tells the computer that it wants something wants to be printed to the screen. And then because you're using these words here, best teacher, you're going to use what's in this box. So that's going to be Mr. Hulton. So the words Mr. Hulton will appear on the screen. Likewise, if I do print uh, minum like this, then you are going to get, and you guessed it, the number six printed to the screen. Okay, but let's have a look at something because we've got this idea of variables. Um, okay, so location in memory, just like a box that contains data, Mr. Hulton, that can be changed. So what I can do, I've done this, minum equals six, but look what I'm going to do now. Minum um, equals eight. Okay, if I do that, then basically I'm putting eight into my num. So what happens over here? Or well, six goes away and I get the value eight and that goes into my num, which means now if I print my num afterwards, then I am going to get not six this time, but the number eight. Makes sense? That's where the beauty of variables is that you can change them and you can do all sorts of tricks with them, uh, which makes them especially useful. Right, so that's variables. So what are constants? Well, they are nearly, nearly exactly the same. So let me give you the definition uh, of a constant now. And it's, it's fairly simple. So uh, constants, they are a location in memory. So that should sound familiar. They're a location in memory that contains data that, wait for it, cannot be changed. Okay, so let's have a think of a, of a practical example for this now. So um, let's have, okay, so this is how we declare a constant. We have to have uh, this word here, const. Now it's different in different languages, um, but there's usually some sort of identifier that we're declaring a constant. There's a convention here, here in there when we're declaring constants to always have them in capital letters. So const uh, sky color, and I'm using that little underscore there, there for because this is two words. So const sky color, sky color, sorry, equals blue. Okay, um, exact same sort of thing as a variable really. We're going const sky color equals blue. If I did print sky color. Okay, print sky color. Um, 
then I would get the value blue printed to the screen. So that is very similar. However, this is the difference between variables and constants. I cannot do this. I can't do this. In fact, let's make it clear. Let's put it in a different color. Okay, this is what I cannot do. Um, sky color equals white. And the reason why I can't do that is because the value in sky color, once I have set it, cannot be changed. So this would throw a syntax error and it would stop your program from compiling. So that just plain out won't work, okay? So that's your constants, all right? One thing to be, um, just to be careful of, okay, here, if I had a, um, let's do this. Let's I had, say I had a variable, um, let's do grass color, okay? So grass color. And uh, let's say I've set that to green, okay? That is still a variable. There is no nothing here saying const, all right? There's nothing here declaring it's a constant. So grass color is green. I haven't changed the value in grass color at any point in my program other than once, but that doesn't make it a constant. It could be changed, okay? So the, the definition of variables that it can be changed. Constants need to be declared as constants and they cannot be changed. Just because a variable has been changed once, it still makes it a variable, it doesn't make it a constant. I hope that's sort of clear. Um, and they are your definitions and examples for variables and constants. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.